एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग विद यू एन इजी टू मेक वन पॉट वीगन एंड ग्लूटेन फ्री कैसरोल दिस विल बी एन आइडियल डिश टू यूज अप ऑल दोस लूज वेजिटेबल्स एंड ग्रोसरीज लर्किंग इन योर स्टोर कबर्ड एंड रेफ्रिजरेटर यू कैन यूज एनी वेजिटेबल्स ऑफ योर चॉइस यू कुड आल्सो यूज चीज इफ यू विश आई चूज टू गो ग्लूटेन फ्री एंड वीगन Some of the vegetables here are harvested from our garden like the zucchinis and the small radishes and peas. I'm also using half a celery, sweet potatoes, carrots, two garlic pods and one chili. To this I'm also adding some gluten-free pasta and some cooked beans which were left over in the fridge. and some vegan cheese for the seasoning i'm adding 2 teaspoons of himalaya pink salt a pinch of asafoetida half a teaspoon of black pepper a few fresh basil leaves from my herb garden half a teaspoon of oregano and thyme a pinch of nutmeg and 2 tablespoons of olive oil for the sauce you will need about 50 ml of rice milk and corn starch you can adjust this according to the amount you have in your pot for the salad i will be making a cucumber and tomato salad all the produce here are organically grown let's get started on this dish i personally don't like to pre-cut and pre-prep the vegetables in advance as i feel the flavor and the taste goes away I will be chopping them as I cook. This way it tastes fresh and the flavor is better. I'm using a big cast iron casserole. The advantage of using a cast iron pot is that it will maintain the heat throughout the cooking and the baking process. Heat the pot to medium heat and pour in 2 tablespoons of olive oil. To it add a pinch of the asafoetida. and then the chopped garlic cloves stir it shortly and then add in the chopped chilies and fry them shortly the chilies are used were medium hot stir in the onions the spring onions and saute it shortly Since carrots take longer to cook, I'm adding this first and cooking it shortly with closed lid. After that, I will be adding the potatoes, celery, sweet potatoes and broccoli. While these vegetables are cooking, boil a pot of water to cook the pasta. Cook the pasta depending on the cooking time mentioned on the package. Drain and set it aside. Cook all the vegetables until they are just about done. When the vegetables are just about cooked, add in the pasta and the mung beans. add all the seasonings and the salt mix in everything and then add in the corn starch and the rice milk Chop the vegetables with the remaining vegan cheese and fresh basil. Bake this casserole at 200 degrees fan for about 30 minutes. To accompany this casserole, I will be making a tomato and cucumber salad. For the tomato and cucumber salad, you will need one cucumber. two ripe tomatoes the juice of half a lemon 
half a teaspoon of dill quarter teaspoon of thyme half a teaspoon of pepper 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of olive oil chop everything up stir in the seasonings add in the lemon juice and the olive oil there you have it an easy vegan and gluten free casserole you could also make it with cheese add any vegetables of your choice and enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching in case you're new to my channel kindly subscribe to receive notifications for the latest videos i have uploaded I post one new video every week on content like food from scratch, Swiss country living and gardening experiences. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, bye-bye.